こんにちは皆僕はジェレミですよろしくお願いしますえ This is part two, and I should have done this video a long time ago because now it's going to be a really, really, really long one here. But、uh, part two of the guest announcements for Anime Revolution, which as of the time I get this video loaded up, it's going to be Thursday. And、uh, that's a week from our, what we call our day zero, which is when we set everything up. Uh, for the convention. And then, of course, the actual convention is not this Friday, but next Friday. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit late. But、uh, we have a plethora of extra guests to announce, so I will get right down to it. First of all, we have joining us once again the 404s improv comedy group from Alberta and one from back east in Toronto, actually. And this, with them, with this year, there are three conventions going on in Canada at the same time Animathons in Edmonton, AR, of course, is in Vancouver, and there's another one, and I can't think of the name of it. Forgive me, it's back east. But、uh, so this is the first time in history. That the 404's cast between East and West is split between three conventions. So, a lot of them live in Edmonton and Alberta anyway, so those ones are staying for the Edmonton one primarily. And then the Calgary ones are mostly coming to Anime Revolution in Vancouver, and the Toronto ones are basically staying there except for one, Michael, who is coming to Anime Revolution. So, they're all over the place. So,、uh, we're excited to have them back, of course, for all of their fun improv shows. And、uh, I've just got my little computer here just to remind me so that I don't forget anybody, of course. Um, also, this year, another、um, group that we have, the Fictionals Comedy Group, is coming to join us as official guests this time. They were guests of ours at the WinterCon, and now they're guests of ours for the SummerCon as well.、Uh, these guys are a local comedy troupe to Vancouver, and they will also be doing a lot of improv stuff. So, we have a lot of improv comedy this,、uh, this convention again, but I mean, you can never have enough of that. It's a lot of fun. And、uh, we're excited to have them as well. Now, last year was his first time with us, and this year he is back. We have Grego from Grego's Game Shows, Greg Wicker. He is going to be putting on four game shows this year. We have the Pokemon Game Show, which was really popular last year. We have Jeopardy again, which is kind of a staple at most conventions that you go to. We have、uh, Concentration, which is kind of utilizing a Rebus puzzle. If any of you remember Kid Street, From back in the day, I had some friends on that one actually, where it's like there's numbers and you, you solve clues and you can remove a number and then you get to see kind of part of a puzzle, so you have to try to solve it based on the, the numbers there. That'll be there. And Know Your Role, which is going to be fun. It's the first time we've had guests take part in the game show、uh, at AR, but three, our three guests have been part of. Grego's shows before, so、uh, Tiffany Grant, Tony Oliver, and Chris Patton, whom I previously announced, they're going to be taking part in it, and that'll be on Saturday night, so you'll want to check that out, of course.、Uh, assuming you're going, of course. So, four game shows from Greg as well.、Uh, now, we have Crunchyroll joining us once again. They weren't with us last year, but they were the year before and the year before that. Crunchyroll is going to be helping us out with、uh, several stuff for our viewing room, of course. They will have Um, a couple of industry panels. You'll definitely want to check them out as well and、uh, find out information on new stuff that is coming up. So, Crunchyroll and Pony Canyon USA are our two main、uh, industry reps、uh, coming this year. So,、uh, music wise, we have a band called The Slants. And now, The Slants, I remember from Anime Evolution in 2000, and I want to say 2007, I could be totally wrong, but it was one of the times.、Uh, no, 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 no. I think it was actually 2008, maybe, when they were at. SFU, I think. Anyway, so they're going to be performing for us.、Uh, that's, that's where I saw them last, anyway, was Anime Evolution.、Uh, Portland's The Slants are the first and only all Asian American dance rock band in the world. They offer up catchy dance beats, strong hooks, and a bombastic live show. I don't know why I switched to a uh, uh, sort of pseudo horribly English accent there. But,、uh, anyways, that is not to be missed. So, very, very exciting there. And of course, another band that's joining us is Loverin at Tambourin.、Um, Aya is the vocalist, Akihiro is the keyboarder.、Uh, there's a guitarist named Fujiorio, and bassist Takumi Fire Matsuda, and the drummer、uh, Kota Igarashi、uh, from Judy and May- Mary, actually. Now, some of the members of Loverin at Tambourin will actually be judging the Idol contest this year. Uh, anime Idol on Friday and Sunday. So,、uh, very excited there.、Um, so, check them out. We'll have our first Japanese 
uh, guest judges for Anime Revolution Idol. So that's quite exciting. Uh, while we're on the music scene, actually, KZ, a.k.a. Re NDZ from Livetune, is coming to DJ our Saturday night rave dance, as well as a after party that they're having on Friday. Yes, it's on Friday, and it is called an after party, so take that as you will. But uh, he will be there, and uh, now he's worked uh, with ha Hatsune Miku, um, I think the songs are listed here, Redial, Tell Your World, and Decorator are the songs. And anime opening and ending themes for Nisikoi, Orimo, and Devil Survivor. So, uh, really, really big name in the Vocaloid uh, dance music industry. And he will be part of our dance on Saturday. Local to Vancouver once again. Cosplay Troupe Fighting Dreamers Productions, a perennial favorite just like the 404s, will be coming back, uh, joining us for their fifth year as well as guests of ours. And uh, I hear that they are putting together a skit. Nudge, nudge, a wink, a wink. Um, so you want to check that out uh, in the, during the cosplay contest or Got Talent. I'm not sure. It'll be somewhere in there. So, um, And putting on some great panels, as they always do for us. So, welcome back, Fighting Dreamers. Uh, from Thailand, I believe. Uh, yes, Thailand's representative for the World Cosplay Summit for 2007 and 2009, we have Eugene Fay, uh, featured cosplay guest, and um, very, very excited for Eugene to join us as well. We haven't had a cosplay guest in a while. Um, but Eugene has been in the cosplay scene since 2000 and has since competed as Thailand's representative. Uh, and make sure not to miss your chance meeting with Eugene at Annie Rebel 2016. Eugene will be signing autographs and maybe in the photo booth. I can't remember off the top of my head, honestly. But the the uh, schedule is up, and I'll link it in the in the box below so you guys can check it out and see the autograph. Oh no, I, maybe autograph times aren't listed on it. <laughs> They should be, but maybe they're waiting until the day of... I don't remember, but anyway. Okay, so we have um, Caitlin Barristow, who actually has helped us out quite a bit off and on. She uh, helps us with the cosplay stuff for like the night market in Richmond and things like that, but she's also a voice actress, and she works in uh, cooperation, I believe, with Ocean Studios and on-the-mic voice training, and she's actually going to be helping to judge the voice actor idol this year and emceeing our opening and closing ceremonies as well as um, myself possibly and uh, doing several other things as well so you want to check her out uh, she has done some of her roles include Chica Ama, uh, Amatori in the Ocean Dub of World Trigger, Blue Bobbin in the hit cartoon series of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and the Mafia Robots is the highly anticipated video game A Hat in Time Wait. Oh, and Mafia Robots in the highly attested, not is. <laughs> oh, whoops. I can read. Um, anyway, Katie is very excited to help Annie Rebel celebrate his fifth year and wants to thank each and every one of the extraordinary staff members for all the hard work they love and put into this event. Aw, that's very nice of you to say, Caitlin. Thank you very much. <laughs> and actually, her sister is also joining us. Opposite Cosplay is what she goes by. Um, Nicole Barristow, a local cosplayer, professional costumer working in the Vancouver film industry. She discovered her passion for cosplay and cos or costume construction back in 2011 when she cosplayed for the first time as Haruko from FLCL. Uh, she has come a long way from her first experience and is a graduate of the UBC School of Fine Arts, majoring in the theater production and currently working in the late our uh, Lats Film Union. She is excited to be part of Annie Revo and meeting all the amazing cosplayers as well. And she will be one of the judges, as well as Eugene Fay, for the cosplay contest this year. So you'll definitely want to check that out as well. Now, um, one thing that I am incredibly excited about and... This has been a long time in the making, actually. About two years now, roughly, is when we first started talking about it. But you guys know that Sugar has been uh, a guest of ours. Sugar Lynn Beard, uh, who, of course, was the voice of Sailor Chibi Moon in the Cloverway dub of Sailor Moon. But she was also a Canadian PJ, as they call them on YTV up here, for uh, since 2001 to 2007, I believe, on YTV. She was on The Zone. And then she had a co-host uh, with her, Carlos Bustamante. 
And uh, Sugar left, of course, to pursue other things in Los Angeles. And since leaving, she has had roles in many Seth Rogen films. Uh, and she's worked with Seth Rogen and um, Zac Efron recently in a movie that was released a couple weekends ago, Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. She plays the sister of Zac Efron, who's actually getting married, and all this bad stuff happens to her. And also her other film comes out uh, the weekend after Anime Revolution, Sausage Party, where she is the voice of the baby carrots in it. And now she is coming back, of course. Uh, to Anime Revolution for her third time. We had her the very first year in 2012 uh, with the Sailor Moon celebration that we did. And then um, she was back last year, of course, and now she's coming back for her third time. And she is joined by Carlos Bustamante. He is joining as well for a reunion um, uh, event that's going to be happening happening on Saturday. I think it's 10:30 to 11:30 in the main events hall. Uh, it's a Sugar and Carlos zone reunion or, or just a reunion for them. Uh, basically, a big Q and A <coughs> session for them. So. I'm so stoked. I mean, like, her and I have been kind of talking about this, and then she worked with me to put it together this year, so thank you, Sugar, for that. I don't know if you watch my videos or not, but uh, anyways, we're so stoked to have everybody coming. This is a huge year for us. Um, many of these people, of course, joining our previously announced guests, Tony Oliver, Chris Patton, Tiffany Grant, Christina V, uh, Pony Canyon USA, Toshihiko Seki, uh, Ayumi Fujimura, Romy Park, Toshi... Or, uh, Takeshi Takadera, uh, I feel like I'm missing people, but maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not, oh, no, I think that's everybody. Let's just go through it again, shall we? Tiffany Grant, Grego's Game Shows, The 404s, Christina V, Ayumi Fujimura, Toshihiko Seki, Romy Park, Takeshi Takadera, Pony Canyon USA, Tony Oliver, Chris Patton, Sugar Lynn Beard, Carlos Bustamante, Lover and Tambourine, uh, Eugene Fay, KZ slash ReNDZ, or Live Tune as he's known as, Fighting Dreamers Productions, The Fictionals, The Slants, Katie, Caitlin Barstow, Crunchyroll, and Opposite Cosplay. So. Big, big, big year for us. Fifth year anniversary. Anime Revolution next weekend. Friday, August the 5th to Sunday, August the 7th. Um, there's other events that are going to be coming up as well. If you look at our website, Anime Revolution Winter has been announced. It's February 11th and 12th, I want to say. Uh, yes, 11th to 12th at the Art Institute of Vancouver. Uh, Anime Revolution Spring is coming soon, and Anime Revo Play, which is a gamer's one-day convention, I believe. I honestly just found out about that one not too long ago. Here it is on our website. So, you can check out our website at anime, animerevolution.ca. It has all the information on there, and you can still get tickets. Free tickets up till the 31st of this month, or else after that at the con itself. I think it's 75 for three days plus tax. So $75 plus tax. Uh, there's a meet and greet you can purchase separately on the website. There's uh, the um, after party. Um, all sorts of stuff. So check it out, and I will see you guys there. I'll be performing the concert for the Earth Celebration, a fifth anniversary concert for the Otaku on Sunday from 10 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. in Ballroom B, so you want to see that. I have some new the uh, parody songs like Weeaboo, Shut Up This Is Yaoi, uh, End of Time, and AR Devotee. I've got, uh, this, this year, I will mention this too, this year is the 10th anniversary from the very first time that I ever entered an idol contest, and that was at Odafest Idol 2006, where I sang M by Ayumi Hamasaki, so I might actually perform that if I can remember the words. <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. So it's hard to believe that so much time has passed. Thank you, guys. I will see you later. Jamatane mina, and have a wonderful day, or good night, or whatever it is. Bye-bye.